Hey, I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here, of course, then welcome. I'm so glad you've stopped by. Today, we're going to review some of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velvet Trap brand new lipsticks. These lipsticks are replacing the old school lip ammunitions. And I am going to be comparing, try to recognize maybe what the differences are in the formula, as well as do some lip swatches for the nine shades of lipstick that I picked from the collection. So if you would like to see all of that and you want to hang out with me while I play with these lipsticks and compare them to the old Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip ammunitions, then stay exactly where you are, keep doing exactly what you're doing, and keep on watching. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the lip swatches of all nine shades that I got from the collection. Then after I finish the lip swatches, I will compare one of the lip ammunitions on one side of my mouth with the new Velvet Trap on the other side of my lip. And we're just gonna see how it wears. What's the difference in the formula? What's the difference in the application itself? Just do a little comparing and contrasting and see what we may or may not be missing from the lip ammunitions going forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so that we can get started on swatches. You know, I never thought I'd be saying that I'm happy that I couldn't get the full collection, but I'm happy that I couldn't get the full collection because my lips are so numb right now. <laughs> 
So I'm really glad we only had nine lipsticks to swatch, but those swatches, most of them were very, very beautiful. Pretty much all of them built up really quickly. I could go over them. I noticed that with this formula, once they started to dry down a little bit, like once my first layer started to dry down a little bit, I could almost immediately go in with another layer and it would pack right on top of it really smoothly. You know how sometimes whenever you go in with the second layer of some lipsticks, it just kind of starts to peel up that first layer and you start getting this weird texture buildup. These didn't do that at all. It's like it still applied that second layer and made it more opaque, but it didn't do anything to the first layer except build on top of it. So I really do like that. The two that I'd say I had the most trouble with in building up was Jawbreaker, which kind of makes sense because it's like a really bright candy blue and Pure Hell, which is like the black black. Oh no, sorry, and Unfazed, those three. Unfazed was the lighter green tone. And that does make sense. I mean, that kind of follows suit with most lighter shade lipsticks. They usually do have a little bit more trouble building up. However, I was still capable of getting it to a solid level of pigment. So that's all I can ask for is a solid level of pigment. They were comfortable. I couldn't really feel them on the lips. So they weren't super weighty. They didn't emphasize any kind of texture. They don't feel super drying. They look like a really gorgeous satin matte finish. And now, speaking of formula, let's compare to the lip ammunition. Now, the only lip ammunition that I have that is the same shade as any of these Velvet Trap lipsticks is the shade Jawbreaker. So, naturally, I'm gonna go in with the shade Jawbreaker. Now, Jawbreaker from the Jawbreaker launch collection is a glitter shade. By the way, this shade was beautiful. I'm really kind of sad that he's getting rid of it because I have used the crap out of this lipstick. But anyway, I'm still gonna compare. I know it's a glitter shade, so that's not gonna show the most exact comparison. I'll probably find another two shades that are really close together. But since this is the same shade, I'm gonna start with it first. You know what? I've changed my mind because that blue is nothing like the other Jawbreaker. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna be a fair comparison. So let's try that again. So now I know this isn't close yet again, but it's closer than what the Jawbreakers were. I'm gonna use the shade Baby Spice from the Lip Ammunitions and Hot Commodity from Velvet Trap. So yeah, it's much more of a hot pink versus more of a nudie pink, but formula wise, We'll be able to tell a little bit better of a difference than a glitter formula versus a semi-matte formula. <laughs> so right side is Baby Spice. Man, been a while since I've used that. It has like no drag. There we go. Okay, wow. Already I'm noticing a huge difference. I don't know if I just haven't used this in a long time or what, but that was really difficult to put on. It was not a smooth application. Very opaque though, really thick. It's so sticky. All right. So that shade is built up. I've never realized it, but that actually feels super thick on the lips. But I'm gonna feel it as it dries down and see what happens. Now I'm gonna go in with the Hot Commodity Velvet Trap Lipstick on the left side and see what happens there. Literally just touching my lip, the pigment starts coming off. I don't have to push in and drag it around like I did with the other one. Oh yeah, this is a really cute look. I need to start doing this on the daily. Heck, at this rate, I just need to start splitting my makeup down my face and have one look on one side, one look on the other. Nothing wrong with rocking two looks a day. So here we have Baby Spice and Hot Commodity. Now I'm gonna let these dry down for just a few minutes and once I feel like they are completely dry, I'm gonna compare the two and how they look and feel and transfer so that we can truly gauge what the difference is. It's not like it technically matters because it's not like you can get any more lip ammunitions anyway, but I for myself and for you guys just wanna know what the difference is and why the old ones were discontinued and a new version made. Okay, time to call it I think. So formula-wise, with the finished result, I would say the Lip Ammunition has a little more of a slight glossy finish to it. It's not glossy, but it's got more of a reflect, like a gloss would. 
so it's not quite as matte as the new velvet trap. Also, just the color intensity, you can tell that there's more pigment within the formula of the lipstick, it seems like. And upon application, they're definitely less waxy. They don't have that hard, thick, stuck, waxy feel to them as they go on. And you can even tell during the glide of the lipstick how dramatically different that is. These Velvet Trap lipsticks actually remind me a lot of the Artist Couture Silk lipsticks. Those are some of the most beautiful lipsticks I've ever tried, formula-wise and pigmentation, and these remind me a lot of those. So I can say I can appreciate the change of lipsticks. I would definitely recommend these over the lip ammunitions, but I still recommended the lip ammunitions because I loved them, and I still do love them. Not that they're going to exist anymore, but hands down, the Velvet Trap formula is tons better. And I love that the constant perfection of even the products that already exist within the line makes me happy because the price is still the same as what the old lip ammunitions were. Nobody asked to change the formula. Well, I don't know if somebody did, but I never asked to change the formula, yet the formula was changed for the better with the same price tag. So I can more so even appreciate that. And I'm excited to have a new lipstick collection that I can expand upon and try even more colors as more are released because hopefully Velvet Trap lipsticks will start being released with upcoming collections just like lip ammunitions were last following the Jawbreaker collection. So all in all that is my opinion and these nine swatches of the Velvet Trap lipsticks from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But most importantly, I want to know what you guys think. Do you like these lipsticks? Have you tried them yet? Did you see the launch? Did you see what shades there were? I'm curious as to you guys' opinion, just like always. I always want to know what you guys think. So let me know it down in the comments. You know that I love to have a conversation with you. You guys are my homies, my hashtag blending beauties. So let's talk. If you did enjoy this, I cannot take myself seriously, hold on. If you did enjoy this video, it'd be really awesome if you wanted to give me a thumbs up. You don't have to if you're like mean and stuff, but it'd be really cool if you did. And if you guys like any of my looks and you want to see more like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything, it's just Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing out of this video, I hope you gain something because that was nine swatches of my life. If you gain nothing out of any of my videos, please at least gain this. And that is to always remember and never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye.